What's that? Why, Fox News. <laughs> Just from the title alone. Someone accuses media of fueling conflicts to drive up something or another. That's what the media's purpose always has been. In the past, in the 1920s through the 1950s, it was called yellow journalism. Now... To coin a phrase, it's just called fake news. Mainstream media is not trusted because there's so many differing opinions, and that's all it is. It's it's one fucking person's opinion against another fucking idiot's opinion, against the official's fucking opinion, against what the public fucking has an opinion of. It's all a, a psyop. If you don't know what that is, look at the fuck up. I'm sure you'll wind up on a blacklist of government watch tags. And you'll wind up seeing a black van follow you around for about six days. Maybe you even be black bagged if you dig too deep into it. But at this point, <laughs> that's far less likely to happen. It's just a fucking psyop. Part of what Jim Sterling coined as the Confusopoly. It's nothing more than getting one group of jackasses pissed off at another group of jackasses because the one jackass in control of everything wants to stay in control of everything and keep everyone confused as to what's really going on. It's that fucking simple. The Confusopoly is just a, another layer of verbiage. Another idiosyncratic layer of bullshit placed on top of the truth. Just like using the phrase PSYOP. It's not P-S-Y as in psychic. It's... Psychological Operation. PSYOP. It's like the honeypot. Which is... Uh, it's an old term. You can see it in the animated TV series Archer. When he goes to... Get <laughs> when he goes to... Um, fake being a homosexual. To... Entrap, entrapment is another fucking actual term you can look up. You won't get on the watch list for that one. Basically, he does a form of entrapment. They call honeypot. It's the same damn thing as a psyop. It's the same damn thing as the confusopoly. These are all synonyms. Because they're similar to each other. Maybe they're not all the exact same thing. But if you line them up in terms of most similar to least similar, it all makes sense. I've already done that up here. So anyway, the honeypot is, you know, where they go and they pose as a... person who is interested in you romantically or sexually in order to obtain information from you, which recently that has happened. Um, although I would say it was a double agent insurgency. I would actually say that because they claimed it was some woman from China who was trying to sleep with a senator or something. What was it, three, four months ago? Yeah, that, that was a most likely an American double agent honeypot. Or a complete fucking psyop to disinform the public and to breed animosity against 
against that particular individual, that's a PSYOP. You see how similar those two things are? You see how freaking interchangeable those things are? That's how similar they are. There's less than a hair's breadth. There's less than the, the distance between me rubbing my two fingers together right now. That's the difference between these things. And as much as I've been watching CNN, Fox News, uh, Sky News Australia, <sighs> Epic Economist, eight other channels on YouTube, as much as I've been watching them all, periodically, from time to time, gathering information on their differing opinions and the similarities between what they're saying, I've deduced that it is simply a massive disinformation psyop. A.K.A. The Confusopoly, if you want to reduce it to a fucking soundbite because you're too stupid, ignorant, dumb, naive, and too much of a fucking nigger nigger, noun, an ignorant person, moron, noun, a person who is incapable of learning. Shall I continue this list of descriptions? If you're too fucking stupid, dumb, ignorant, naive, too much of a fucking moron and a nigger and an idiot to understand what I'm saying, understand this. The jackass at the top of the pyramid wants you to fight with everyone else at the bottom so that you don't attack the jackass at the fucking top of the pyramid and dethrone them from their reign of tyranny and terrorism because that is literally what they're fucking doing. It's that fucking simple. If you don't believe me, just watch. Give it a few months. You'll see some more evidence pop up. If what's happening right now isn't enough for you, give it a few months. You'll see that I'm right. And whatever notion you had that maybe it's just a coincidence will be blown out of your fucking mind. Like a squirrel in a goddamn cannon. And I use that uh, analogy because it's comedically and psychologically impactful. It breaks your normalcy bias and makes you think, what the fuck? It breaks the monotony of what I've already said with something ludicrously absurd. It breaks the psychological normality of what I've been going through. That's the only reason I use that analogy. Just to fuck with your normalcy bias. Also, right now, I am exceedingly drunk. And I'm more coherent than most of you humanity when you're fucking sober. I guess that makes me the fucking Rick Sanchez of this reality. And in keeping with that thematic proposition, fuck you, lick, 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 lick my balls.